It does happen. There we go. Duncan, what yeah. are we doing? So we're walking over Christmas um, to help raise awareness to, for veterans that are like yourself in real trouble. Yeah, like myself. So, mate, you were in the Remi? Remi, Royal Electrical Mechanical Engineers. Yeah, as was my granddad, I have to oh, say. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Anyway, mate, moving swiftly on. Um, walking Home for Christmas, uh, if you want to take part, www.walkinghomeforchristmas.com. It's a collaboration between Walking with the Wounded and Walking Down These Steps, which we're going to do now. We're going past the Houses of Parliament. Um, uh, go to that website, you will get given a pack and a lovely hat, like we are sporting right now beautiful um, and all we're asking you to do basically is is walk and not very far if you don't want to from the pub Duncan from the pub home I always get off the bus a little bit early yeah. so I walk home that a little extra extra yeah, or it, find an organized walk it can be yards it can be miles but so long as you get sponsorship and, and let's explain where some of that money is going to be going it's a collaboration as I say between uh, walking with the wounded and help for heroes we're going to have some more steps now and make sure we don't break our legs so we can actually do the walk yeah walk home for Christmas um, um, that money will go to help people who are either physically mentally or, or even socially excluded after serving our country basically uh, I as a civvy um, dunk you as a service person yeah. an ex-service personnel um, I personally feel I owe a duty to people like Duncan because they kept me safe I went out to Afghanistan a few times. I saw what uh, guys like Duncan have done for my safety and for my family's safety. And you know, for me walking a couple of hundred yards and raising some money for people, vulnerable veterans in need, isn't that hard. And also you can have a laugh at the same time. Exactly. Yeah, anything else you wanna to add to that Duncan? No, just like I say, just anything that you can do to help us. Yeah. Um, just like I say, get off the bus early, get off the train early. Take a little walk. Yeah, and have a bit of a laugh while you're doing it. And bear in mind, seven people every day are medically discharged from our armed forces. You're twice as likely to suffer some kind of mental health issue if you've served with someone, if you haven't. And many people find it very difficult reintegrating into society. Um, you know, getting a job, right? A lot of guys, you'd be surprised, the qualifications you have as, a, as an engineer, basically. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's got all the trades, all the skills, but people often find it very difficult to employ people who have been in the forces. Um, you know, unemployment in this country runs at 4%. For the many uh, veterans in need, it runs at 70%. And these are people that are trained, they're trustworthy, they're decent human beings. And I want to see us helping those people get back into full-time employment and, and, and reintegrating into society. And if I as a civilian can do anything to help, particularly if it's me walking back from the pub or staggering back from the pub, <laughs> um, then I'm going to do it. And I'll ask you to do it as well. So www.walkinghomeforchristmas.com. Thank you very much. Perfect. Have a great day. Cheers, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>